What's going on guys? Welcome back to my video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a, a custom tactics player instructions video for you guys. Uh, but first, it's been a while since I've uploaded on this uh, channel. And that's just because I've been really busy with college work and stuff. So hopefully I have more time coming up so I can make more videos for you guys. Uh, but I thought I'd get a quick video out today because uh, you guys said last week that you wanted to see a custom tactics video and if you still haven't figured out a custom tactics that works for you maybe you can try mine out um, but before we get into that I'm going to show you where I'm in division rivals so you guys know that this is like a viable custom tactics so if you could see you probably saw on the top right but if you didn't I am uh, in division 1 1908 skill rating um, you'll see my team in a second. It's not the world's best team, but it's 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 a pretty OP team. But yeah, so Division One and this custom tactics works flawlessly. Um, might take a little bit of adjusting depending on your play style, but overall, I feel like it's a really good, solid custom tactics. Um, so here's my team. So as you can see, uh, it's got a lot of just average players. I, I don't think they're amazing out of this world, but it's just a really, really fun team to use for me. So uh, let's just start going right over the custom tactics. So here I had a bunch set up, so I didn't do, I didn't do ultra attacking, like 4 3 is not mine. I tried 4 2 2, 4 triple 2 in the beginning of the game, and I found some success, but I didn't like the cams uh, being that far apart. The, the the defensive one four two three one I really didn't like the single striker up top so then I went to just a balanced four four two and that's what I've been playing with I found a lot of success with it so just getting into the tactic itself defensive is pressure and heavy touch um, the width is six the depth is four now the reason the depth might be a little bit low for most people for compared to you guys is because I find that a lot of the through balls and over the top through balls my defenders can't like keep up. So I went a little bit deeper so that it's a little bit harder for my opponent to be able to do that. So that's why the depth is on four. And then offense, I don't really find too much of a difference, but balanced. And then five with five players in the box, three in corners and free kicks. Um, I don't want to get caught too much, so I always like to have two people back on corners and free kicks. In terms of the formation in game, 4-4-2. Four, four, uh, the kind of players you're going to need for this position or for this team is so your strikers, they just need to be pacey or have some ability to hold up the ball, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, your wingers, pace again for me is a, is a nice key part. Um, finishing a little bit needs to be up. Um, but yeah, that's wingers are just typical wingers. Center mids are gonna act more as CDMs. So I have Kimmich and Limer. They just need to be more defensive minded. They could be like a box box center mid, but just be aware you might get caught out at times than your normal back line and goalkeeper. So moving on to the instructions. So um, I have a pacey striker and a striker that's got pace but holds up the ball a little bit more. And that's what I was talking about a little bit earlier. So for my pacey striker, I have stay central and get him behind. And then for my more hold up uh, striker, I have stay central and just mixed attack. So it'll make runs in behind, come short, all that kind of stuff. This is more of a guy if you have someone like Sergio Aguero or Kramer Rich or Lewandowski, someone like those guys, that's what you want to have them on is mixed attack and stay central rather than getting behind. And he, these two are just going to be stay central so they can play a bunch of one twos with each other and hopefully find the ball in behind. That's the main goal for your two strikers is to play one twos. That's why two strikers are quite important for this game. And then I don't touch the left or right mid, they just stay on everything normal. Your two center mids, like I said, mine are both defensive minded. So they are both on stay back while attacking and cover center. You will have to change cover center. It's on typically cover wing. So yeah, if you have a box to box center mid, then you can probably put the attacking support on balanced, but still, I just prefer two CDM so I don't get caught out. And then your full backs are stay back while attacking and that's it on them. And then these are default. Well, make sure you have stay back attack on your uh, full backs, otherwise you'll be caught out and be on a counter attack probably against a three versus two with your two center backs. Um, rolls, that don't that doesn't really matter. But I would say the key parts for my set of custom tactics is obviously having the right players in the right positions. So 
taking a look at someone like Kai Havertz. 84 pace, which isn't bad. 81 shooting. I got him with a hunter, uh, so he does go up quite a bit. But he does a lot. He actually gets in behind quite a bit, and you can outpace players, as you can see. 44 goals, 61, 44 games, 61 goals, and 47 assists. Not all were in rivals. That's why it's a little, a little higher. Milos Rashitska, he's actually a really good player, so I would advise getting him if you don't hunt the coins. But he's the pacier striker that gets in behind. Your two center mids or CDMs here. Um, your two wingers and then you have your normal defense and it's crazy because like I played this team I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I really don't want to change it but I've literally just in the past two days packed Van Dyke and Joe Gomez untradeable so um, Probably switch the team up, but yeah, that's it for the custom tactics video. I was really quick I wanted to get it out so it's not too long for you guys to watch feel free to pause and Copy them. Let me know how it goes. Let me know if you have any questions um, but if that, that that's pretty much it for this video if you guys are looking forward to more videos coming out make sure you leave a like on this video subscribe to my channel let's try and hit 1k by the end of the year i know it's a big ask but let's try and hit it 1k by the end of the year and um i'll see you guys next time